Hello, beautiful souls. I'm sending you so much love today with this weekly oracle message for April 7th, 2024 through the 13th of this month. And um, this is a really intense month, of course, because we've got the uh, the solar eclipse on Monday. And Spirit's been kind of nudging me to talk about intentions. There's that saying, nature abhors a vacuum, and it's true. So, you know, if there's anything that's unattended in nature, something is going to take it over, right, and use it for their own use. And the same is true of our attention, our intention, and our mind, right? So if we are not, you know, setting our own intentions and being very clear with ourselves and conscious about how we're going to be using our energy, um, you know, conscious about what we are wanting to bring forth into the world, what we're wanting to contribute to with our, our thoughts and our actions, then that leaves our minds open to, you know, kind of energies to come in and um, start to bend our own mind or will to whatever intention that they have. And sometimes those are good intentions and sometimes they're not. So, um, and the reason I'm bringing this up for right now, right before the eclipse is that the eclipse is a super, super powerful juncture. Um, last week I posted a video all about it. You can check that out if you want, but, but this is a, it's actually, it, it's a cosmic event, but it's also a ritual, right? Uh, a ritual that's happening cosmically. Each one of us is participating and how we use our energy and how conscious we are about it is going to really affect um, the everything that takes place on the world, you know, going forward. So this is a, a really critical juncture. And so I'm just going to encourage you as we move into this, as we are in this eclipse window, um, especially if you plan to do any kind of eclipse viewing, to be very, very conscious of your energy at that time and to, you know, as you feel guided, set your intentions for how, you know, how you're going to, um, use these eclipse energies uh, in, in positive ways, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so I am pulling today from the Bee Sisterhood Oracle deck, and this is a beautiful deck. It's a, a work of love that was um, created by a, a over like 20 some women and all got together to do this. So the card that's coming up is Wax Plates. And according to the guidebook um, in the physical realm, the young, it's the young bees, the young maiden bees that create wax. And they're 12 to 18 days old. They produce wax from glands in their abdomen. And these wax plates, they share them with the other sister bees, which then chew them, mold them, and shape them into the correct form to build comb in the hive. Okay, so, and... What they're saying is that it's kind of created from the body of the bee, right? And um, they're equating it to making a home from your blood and bones. You create your own security. And I would add to that, you create your own reality too. So again, minding the thoughts, minding, you know, what's, what's going through your head, minding where you put your attention, right? Because um, the thoughts that we have in our heads are what the world is built out of, right? The future world is built out of. And so especially if you're planning to, you know, go out and do some eclipse watching, really, really be mindful at this time of what thoughts are going in through your head. Um, are they your own thoughts? Are you kind of repeating headlines that you've seen, right? Um, what's the energy of those thoughts? Um, you know, this is an encouragement to really be mindful of staying positive in your thoughts. And even if something comes through that triggers you or doesn't seem like, um, you, you know, it's something that that you want to see a lot of, try to find the positivity of in it or at least call in like angelic help to bless whatever it is and help it transmute to something positive. We really, really want to bring in the light at this window, especially during this week, this window of the eclipse. It's it's super important for us to do that. Okay, so um, 
if you haven't yet watched my eclipse video go take a listen to that um, and remember you were born to be free